Hey guys, what's up? It's Jessie here, and today this video is going to be about how to make a British trifle. So this is super easy, yummy, and delicious, so let's get on with the video. So first, guys, you want to pick a jello packet. I picked the black cherry, but I really recommend you use the strawberry kind because black cherry is very overpowering. So you just want to use the longest method there is on there, I believe. You don't want to do the speed set method, um, just because I just don't feel like it turns out as good. So you're just going to empty out your jello packet into a bowl, and I'm just using my mix mixing bowl. Um, but yeah, so you guys can see there is the jello packet. Then you're going to add one cup of boiling water, and you just want like one cup of really like hot like boiled water, and then you're just going to add that into there. Then the next thing you're going to do is add one cup of cold water. I just used um, filtered water because I can. <laughs> but yeah, that's what it looks like. Then you're just going to mix that together as best you can so there's no lumps. So now guys, you can see that's basically what it looks like. It doesn't look like, look like there's a lot, but there is actually, so. Next thing I'm doing is I'm grabbing a bowl, and basically the bowl is just to transfer my jello into. Obviously it's not going to set in that bowl because we're going to have to make the whole trifle with the jello, but yeah. So guys, here are all the ingredients, and now you're just going to separate your eggs. Add your eggs wi egg whites into your mixing bowl, and add your whisk attachment. As you guys can see, I was having a tiny bit of a struggle using one hand to attach this, but I somehow got it in attached. <laughs> then you're just going to whip that away until it is at soft peaks. So here's what it looks like halfway, and here is what it looks like when it's just about done. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of your whole entire, like, total of your sugar, and you're just going to... Do one tablespoon at a time and whisk that together, um, and yeah, it's just gonna basically temper, I think that's what it's called, but it's just gonna like, let the eggs get used to having like weight, I guess, on them, and then it's gonna make it so much easier and like fluffier, and by the way, these trifle sponges are so delicious, like, this is my go-to recipe. So basically you're going to add all your remaining sugar into your egg yolks. And basically what that's going to do is, I don't know actually, but basically you're just going to whip that together until it is basically pale in color. And that does take a tiny bit of time um, than you think, like a tiny bit more time than you think. But yeah, I did spill a lot of sugar everywhere. Oops. But then you're just going to mix that together with a fork until it is combined. I switched to a fork after I used a spatula just to combine them at first. And by the way, this does make a lot of these travel sponges. So basically, I'm going to share a tip with you in one second. So basically, as the tip is, if you're going to cook every single travel sponge you can, and then you're just going to use the ones that you don't, Get the ones that you don't use, and you're just going to freeze them, and then next time you need to use some travel sponges, um, defrost them, like saw them, I guess, um, and then basically they're ready, and I love this, like, hack, and yeah, it just tastes better fresh, though, but, you know, you don't, unless you want to make, like, two trifles or something, then I really recommend you just put them into the freezer. The next thing I'm doing is I'm sifting my flour and baking powder together. And the baking powder does make it rise a tiny bit. And yeah, you just want to sift the flour and baking powder. And yeah, that's basically what I want to do. So guys, you want to make sure this is very sifted. You can not skip out the sifting step. Otherwise, it's just not going to turn out as well. It's going to be a bit way, like, okay. It's going to be way more lumpier. And I'm just taking half a teaspoon of baking powder and sifting that in there. But it was a brand new one, so I had a little bit of struggle trying to open it up. I eventually gave up. I did add it in, but, like, I eventually just gave up recording it. And just cut it open. 
there's the baking powder, and then you're just going to get a spatula, and you're going to get half of the egg whites that we have whipped, um, and then you're going to add that, well you guys can see I'm just like sort of chopping it in half, but I'm not really, but I'm just using the spatula to get about half of the um, egg whites, and then I'm just adding half the egg whites into all of my egg yolks. It doesn't have to be exact, you just want to make it as even as possible. Then you guys are going to just fold them together and then you're going to add that into your flour and baking powder mixture. And the reason, guys, why you want to fold this is just so they turn out fluffy and stuff. You don't want to make it too... You don't want to pat down or anything the egg whites too much because you just spent all this time whipping them. And you still want some air in there. So now I'm just adding the remaining half of the egg whites into the mix. Then you're just going to fold that together too. Then on a baking pan, all you have to do is, I recommend you spray it because mine got stuck a tiny bit, but you don't have to. You're just going to put on your mix. And then you're just going to pre preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and then bake them for 8 to 10 minutes. The next step is to get some dark sweet cherries that are pitted, and I really recommend you use frozen, not fresh. Um, and yeah. And he, here are the, um, trifle sponges, and I'm just putting that into our dish. And they're completely cooled by now, by the way. And all you have to do with the cherries is just chop them up, and then you're going to put that into the jello. And obviously the jello should not be set yet because it's at room temperature. And it takes like four hours to set. And yeah. But you guys can see, um, that's about half as many trifle sponge sponges there were. And then the other half, I just put them in the freezer. Then here you guys go. This is the cherries and jello. And then I'm just pouring that onto the trifle sponges. And then I just evened out the cherries. So guys, that is how to make the cherry part. Now this part is going to be about how to make the custard, which is the second layer. Basically, this is going to take a long time to um, basically cool down. So yeah. So you want to start off by taking your milk, your custard powder, and then your sugar, and putting that into a paste. And basically guys, just follow the directions on the back. And I'm just using it in the microwave. Of course guys, you can make custard from scratch, but I'm not that talented so I don't really think I can make it from scratch and I don't want to basically mess up the trifle so I'm just taking custard powder my green diluted sugar and then my milk and I'm mixing that together until it creates a paste then I'm going to add in the rest of the milk that I need I think it was like about 500 um Milliliters, I think. That even makes sense. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm not good at math. But, um, yeah. I'm just going to add in the, re the remaining milk. Just follow the instructions on the packet box thing. Here's the tip, guys. Um, basically, one time when I was making this, I just added the custard, but it was still boiling hot to the very cold jello. It basically sort of melted the jello and it was way too thick so it wouldn't move that much and it was really annoying and it, and then since it was too thick it also turned into like a jello too and it tasted really gross. So basically um, make it sort of thinner so I added a bit more milk than I usually do and then I added a little bit less custard powder. And 
here I am just reading the instructions, making sure I do everything right. <laughs> Sorry, headphone users. Okay, I feel really bad now. Ah. And since this does bubble over a lot, it's super annoying and stuff, but since it bubbles over that little measuring jug I have, I just put a plastic bowl under it, and then basically what that does is it overflows, but then it overflows into the bowl, and then you can just take out the measuring cup and then just pour all the stuff back into it from the bowl into the measuring cup. That makes sense? I'm not sure. But yeah, here I am just adding, putting that into the microwave for three minutes and then I'm basically I'm going to mix it between the three minutes and then I'm going to put it on for another three minutes. You guys can see this is it and um, I think you guys might be able to see it bubbling over. I'm not sure. But there's like 15 seconds left. Yay. 16. Yeah, there's it bubbling over and stuff which is why that comes in handy. Then you just open the door and it like settles down a lot. By the way, guys, we're not sponsored in this video, so, yeah. <laughs> so if you see any labels and stuff, we're not sponsored, okay? Okay. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, now what I'm doing is I'm taking the custard, and it's completely cooled down by now. And I'm adding that onto the trifle. You want to be very gentle with this because you don't want to sort of break the jello, if you know what I mean. And all I'm doing is slowly pouring in the custard. Now, after you pour it in, you're just going to spread it into an even layer all over the jello. And you want to make sure that you do, um, you want to make sure that the jello is fully hardened. So you're going to have to wait about four hours for the jello to set. But then with the liquid from the cherries, it might take a little bit longer. So just be patient. Now all I'm doing is I'm putting it into the fridge and I'm going to let it set for as long as I can before I have to put on the cream. Now all I'm doing is I'm taking the cream and I'm spreading it using an offset spatula onto the trifle. And I recommend that you let it sit out for as long as you can to let it thaw. Now guys, you can decorate this with whatever you like. And I just used some chocolate Dark chocolate shavings and some white chocolate shavings. And it turned out really delicious. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Love you. So the ingredients, guys, are very simple. You need a jello packet in black cherry or strawberry. You need some whipped cream. I recommend the Cool Whip. You need also some trifle sponges. And I got my recipe from um, the internet. I think it's allrecipes.com. I'll make sure I check. But yeah, then you're also going to need some custard powder. Then you're going to need, I think that's it. Yeah. And you guys are also going to need some frozen pitted cherries. So yeah.